Hi and welcome at the Buas Bees. You're on summer vacation, but the bees are still working. Look at them, how nice it is. So I see something on the board, the flight board. It's a little bit messy. That's something to think about. Why is it messy? It's clean. It's clean. Why is it messy? It could be there are robbers and we don't want robbers so we're gonna check the hive looks what uh, how they're doing and then we make the entrance a little bit smaller so here uh, we saw some robbers in the wasps There's some wasps here and we don't want wasps in the hive so Let's take a look inside how they're doing. So you're a little bit high and we're looking at the brood chamber here. I hope you can see everything. We still have some honey supers on them because last year we took them off and in a week the brood chamber was floated with nectar so we're keeping them on a little bit longer but you have to know in the Netherlands we're already thinking about winter for the bees so July is the last month mostly to collect nectar here in Breda it's something different us here that brought a lot of nectar in in July and a bit of August so this year I keep it some longer on the hive so they can collect in the chambers above and also in the brood chamber for winter and then we have to run we have to be quick for winter is coming in and I hear you think winter is coming in is July August coming September October yes before October they have to be ready for winter because in October the temperatures will drop mostly under 15 degrees Celsius and okay we have some September uh, October days above 20 and sometimes a week but mostly it's under 12 and that's the point the bees cannot collect any sugar syrup or nectar and put it away for winter so then everything should be ready and to do that we have to start in August so here's the queen it's our queen see so the other worker bees removed the spot but I know it's her because there as you can see a wing is cut so that's our bee our queen doing a really good job so I'm looking here at some bees how they're doing getting this bee to see oh, there it goes to see how they're doing is there any mites on them so we need this month the summer bees to give them medicine against mites but it's only possible when there's not honey on so I have to wait I have to wait I have to wait not too long because in August September and they start making winter bees so then I have to be fast with using medication for the bees I'm using a healthy medication so they don't have terrible chemicals on them let's go to the next one they're soft and smart and sweet look at them how they work together over together all the kept brood all the pollen we see some drone bees and a lot of worker bees so we saw the queen we are done 
but I need to know if they're done with swarm plants. So swarm season is officially over, but hey, when ice cream season is over, I still sometimes want an ice cream. So bees, when swarm season is over, I sometimes need or want a new queen. So I'm still checking and they're all good. I think they're all good. All the symptoms on this side were good, so I don't think there will be any problem at the other side. Maybe some small caps just because we had a cold day here, this one. No problem, just cut it away. And this one too. I know where they are, they're always on the same place. When it's a little bit cold, they have nothing to do, they can't fly going to find pollen and nectar. Oh, you have to make cells, maybe. We want a new queen, so she can put an egg in it. And we can make a new queen, she don't want it. She can eat her way into the cell, destroy the larva, and nothing has a problem, no one has a problem, everything is okay. So here's a, a bit of an old brood, kept one, and all the other cells here are cleaning because this one was all covered with brood and all the new bees are born, so they're cleaning and if it's clean they can put nectar in it or new eggs. So they can collect nectar in the honey chamber and next time we will take that away so for the to be smart and don't let them drown in nectar in the brood chamber so the queen can't lay eggs i have two honey chambers on now so next time when i'm here i'm getting the full chamber away. The other one I keep it on so the bees won't have in one time a really really big a really big problem that all the bees have to be in one chamber. The other the next time we see how they're doing and we take the other one off and then we start treating we're on time and then we start feeding we are on time and we're not giving them food for the whole winter because they're still collecting and if the chamber is gone they're not only collecting the food I'm giving they're also collecting the food there is all around so we give them a bit of food and I always say extra food, just extra. So put the honey supers on. Uh, I will show you what they did. In the last three weeks, this one, they filled it up. I changed it to the top now, fill it up in two week time. So let me show you how it's now. This one is kept. This is all full and they're all full with honey all the way. So if I put my hive two in, look here, yeah. all honey, all honey. And this one's kept. So this, this one, this part we can eat. If it's three quarters kept, it's okay for us to get it out or if the honey is really dry and I can check that if necessary so this one next time it's all good so let's get the top on I'm going to work on the other hives and see you next time at bijuhuro.nl on the Boers campus so goodbye and look out for the bees and get some nice seed and 
start in September, October to collect or to uh, put your seeds in the ground for the next spring. Don't forget the bees. Bye.